Mr. Saurav Singh, hearty okay. congratulations. In fact, I should say double congratulations to you for having secured All India Rank 1 in the Environmental Science in Gate 2022 and also All India Rank 3 in Civil Engineering Gate 2022. Thank so you double so congratulations much. to you. Thank you so much, sir. It's a pleasure yeah. being with you. Yeah, yeah nice, nice. Uh, sort of very beginning, I want to ask you one thing. Uh, any reason for uh, attempting these two papers in this present sir, gate examination? Sir, when I uh, decided to uh, start my preparation, then I had decided only to write gate uh, civil engineering. But uh, I had uh, done some research work during my college days in environmental engineering and having an interest towards environmental engineering and looking at the future prospects, I decided to write environmental engineering as well. And moreover, the syllabus, uh, there's a big overlap in the syllabus of the two subjects. So yeah, I thought I would do uh, good in this. Too. Right, right. Finally, you proved your metal in both papers, right? Very good. Uh, very, we are very proud of Mr. Saurabh Singh. Uh, Saurabh, which type of coaching program you have availed from our ACE Engineering Academy? So I took postal uh, study material and gate, test, gate plus ESC test series from ACE uh, Engineering Academy. So you have taken postal coaching as well as uh, gate uh, test series, yes, right? Yeah. Yes. Well, please tell us uh, how this yes uh, postal coaching material and the test series helped you in cracking this examination such a wonderful ranks. So, uh, especially, I would like to thank uh, the ACE postal study material because it had questions which were uh, slightly above the gate level. It had very tricky and non-conventional, basically new questions, which uh, basically that was what I wanted during my preparation. And moreover, the test series, uh, there were a lot number of students who attempted the test series. Uh, I got a good, uh, uh, you know, uh, estimate of where I do stand uh, among the candidates. So uh, basically, the quality of questions in the postal study material uh, were what I what I had expected from ACE and what I actually got from ACE. Okay, good. So in the ACE test series, so totally, how many tests you have taken? Uh, sir, I had taken almost all the uh, subject-wise tests and full-length tests. Okay, good. I can't uh, hold the number, but I think almost all. Yeah, yeah. majority test you have taken. Okay. Uh, sort of in our yes test series, we have uh, what you call some tests of topic wise, some tests of subject wise, some tests of combination, and some tests of uh, full length also. Yes. Sir. Right. So, yes, sir. At, uh, how you used to take all these tests? Sir, I had take taken the. Uh, Yes, sir. So the minor tests, which were topic wise tests, those I used to take while I used to complete my uh, topic uh, while studying. I had left the full end test and subject multi subject wise test for a later date. And during the last two months of my preparation, I started attempting the full length test and uh, basically subject wise test. Okay, that's not a good point. I think that's what uh, we are coming from most of the toppers are saying that uh, up to what you say. Uh, November or so, they are taking this uh, minor test, uh, topic wise test. In the last two months, especially the December, January month, they are focusing more and more on this uh, full length test. Maybe that strategy is uh, clicking for them, right? Very good, uh, Sarav, very good. In our yes test series, uh, let us say full length mock test series, where you used to stand rank wise? You, you are in the top five or top 10 like that? In most of the tests, I was in top five. Uh, in some tests, I had secured rank one and and if I look at the average rank, I guess it was three or four, something like that. But there were a few tests where I stood uh, beyond 10 also. Okay, but majority you are in the top five, right? Uh, ultimately, the same thing proved in our actual gate examination result also. In one paper, you are the India topper, first rank. In another ceiling paper, you are India third rank. So, more or less, yes, test is simulating the actual gate paper. Can you say like that? Exactly, right. sir. Yeah, Not only the uh, level of the questions, but also the number of candidates. So I think uh, that was a good point. Very good, uh, Saurav. Very good, Saurav. I think many aspirants who watch this video, they get some inspiration and motivation uh, from this particular interview because uh, you got uh, good ranks in the both papers, right? Uh, Saurav, can you tell us about your educational background? When did you pass out your B.Tech, your college and all? So I did my B.Tech in Civil Engineering from IIT Kanpur. I passed out in 2020. And then uh, I've been doing a job in the non course sector. So great, uh, Mr. Saurabh. So you are an IIT and you did uh, from IIT Kanpur 2020. Uh, in the last two years, uh, where were you? Were doing any job or preparing actually this uh, comp examination? Right after my uh, graduation, I took a job in the uh, through campus placement. 
but i hardly did uh, there for i hardly worked there for five or six months and then later i decided to work uh, uh, to start devote my all time towards gate preparation gate preparation right okay uh, so uh, because your uh, rank and your background is going to be best example for the many aspirants you please tell us your uh, what you call uh, mode of preparation that helped you in securing such a good ranks in the examination so my strategy of preparation was that after completing the theory of any subject i used to solve uh, previous year questions and uh, uh, booklet questions apart from that i had left the workbook questions for the last i solved the workbook questions uh, as a revision tool for the uh, preparation basically in the last three or four months i solved the workbook question and while doing my subjects i used to solve the theory book question okay so this uh, previous year's questions totally how many times you would have solved uh not much sir, but at least once i had solved all the questions and there were few questions which i had start marked so i solved them two or three times okay right for example if you see our yes test yes uh, metal also i think we have given almost uh, around uh, 30 years uh, previous years questions what is your opinion do you require uh, the students to solve all the 30 years or if you focus the last 10 years or 15 years is it sufficient uh so in my opinion uh, we should go for all the 30 years but uh, the questions in the previous years have been comparatively easier so if a candidate feels that he has little time then he can attempt a uh, last 15 years but still i would recommend to solve all the previous year questions okay and one more saurav uh, have attempted the last year gate examination gate uh, 2021 uh, sir, i did not attempt gate 2021 this was my first attempt this is your first attempt so very great uh, saurav in the very first attempt itself you got uh, in one paper first rank other paper third rank right uh, okay saurabh right uh, did you prepare any short notes or micro notes as such because in many students they said that they have prepared the short notes for the region purpose what was the case in your so i had prepared short notes i believe the short notes were uh, the most important tool for my revision because had i not prepared those short notes it would have been like a, an ocean before me thousands and thousand pages of notes i could not revise to them so i had summarized all my civil engineering within uh, 300 or 400 or 500 pages and i had just two notebooks uh, i used to revise from them so you mean to say that all the subjects of our civil engineering you have uh, prepared the short notes with an what you call 300 to 400 papers right pages 300 to 400 pages that's what your short notes yes. good good okay and uh, these short notes that we have prepared, uh, did you follow any criteria? Because many students ask us that, uh, sir, can you share the short notes of your previous top or something? They ask us, though we tell them that it should be a student specific, but still they ask us, what is your take on this? Exactly. Uh, short notes uh, are student specific and there is no one size uh, fits for all. But still, uh, what I did was that I used to write uh, all the formula, all the th even the most important theory. Basically, my short notes were not formula notes. There were entire notes written in a smaller font size, uh, minus the questions and minus the very obvious concepts. So in a way, my short notes were uh, equivalent to notes, but in a smaller number of pages. Okay. One, one small question uh, from the short notes again. Suppose uh, there is one subject, let us say, uh, strength of metals is there. If you want to revise that strength of metals uh, subject uh, from the short notes, approximately how much time uh, used to take, for example? So, uh, I had done revision for four or five times in total. When I uh, revised for the first time through short notes, I took almost even two or three days for a single subject. But while during my last revision, uh, it had come down to three or four hours for a single subject. Yes, that is a good point, actually. This is a, a very good message from Saurabh Singh to the, all the aspirants who are watching this uh, particular video. See, the revision uh, at different levels, you take different amounts of time. As, as Saurabh Singh said here, first revision he took for each subject uh, under two to three days. The same subject, and maybe third or fourth, it has come down to three to four hours only. Isn't it? So that's what students have to think of. Yes, sir. Uh, after continuous revision, with each revision, uh, the time taken for the revision uh, re gradually reduces. Gradually reduces. That's a very good point. A very good point, uh, Saurabh. This would be a very useful point for the students. Right. Uh, and one more, Saurabh. What was your uh, uh, strategy in the last one week before the actual examination? Uh, in the last one week, I uh, left all my pen and calculator. I decided not to solve even a single numerical question. 
and I simply went through my short notes, basically uh, the theoretical aspects. Uh, I did not solve numerical questions because I did not want to lose confidence. Maybe there can come a question which I would not be able to solve. So I simply uh, went through my short notes and did a revision on a theoretical uh, with a theoretical point of view. Right. By theoretical point of view, I mean uh, we I also did the formula and other things. Yes, 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 I understand. Right. Okay. On the day of examination, in the examination hall, three hours the time and the sixty-five questions, etc. Did you have any specific strategy, or just like that uh, you attempt the questions in sequential manner? So while attempting test series, I had observed that uh, uh, the questions are jumbled in actual gate examination. So uh, it's very difficult to look for one mark question or MSQ individually. So what I did was I just attempted questions in sequence. Whatever question came before me, I attempted that. Okay. Did you attempt all the 65 questions? Yes, sir. I attempted all the 65 questions in both uh, civil engineering. Uh, in civil engineering, I, attempt, I left a few questions in environmental engineering. Okay. Oh. Was it your, uh, what was it, paper, morning session paper or afternoon session paper? The morning session. Morning session paper. Right. Uh, okay. Very good. Uh, so the time, three hours, was it sufficient for you? Yes, sir. Three hours were more than sufficient. Uh, luckily, I had completed the get C paper uh, in two hours and I was just, uh, I was anxious for it to end. <laughs> no, Mr. Saurav, you proved to be a good IIT student, right? You have finished the paper in two hours of time. <laughs> Maybe right so because you have made a rigorous of practice and all a lot of dedication, so that's why you are uh, able to solve the paper, enter paper within a matter of two hours of time. Then, what you have done with the remaining time? So Did I, you again I check went, it? Uh, so, I checked a few questions, I went to washroom for a few times to wash my face, and then I, I yes, I uh, revised the questions again. There was enough time even for a complete revision. So, this was in line with the test series because even in the test series, I used to complete the paper. Uh, within two hours, two hours, 10 minutes, two hours, 20 minutes, something like that. Right, very good. Uh, you are very good in solving the questions quickly, right? Very good, Sara, very good. And one more point, see, uh, you passed out in 2020, then you did a uh, six months job, again, you switched to the preparation and all. In this long journey of uh, preparation, have you ever come across any sort of uh, what you call demotivation, discouragement, anything as such? Uh, yes, sir. There were a lot of moments uh, when I was demotivated, especially the days uh, I could not solve questions. There were uh, sometimes days when a uh, full day, I, I, had, I wasted a full day because of overthinking. But uh, we have to overcome this and add it. Right. Okay. Now, whenever I used to get a a demotivated, etc., how you used to cope up with that situation? Uh, sir, I used to uh, just walk around. Uh, I used to get fresh air. And I used to just uh, leave everything, leave my cell phone uh, inside my room. And I used to just walk. Uh, I think this helped me a little bit. Uh, not exactly, but uh, this helped okay, me. Okay, right, right. Very good, Saurabh. See, in civil there are so many subjects there. So you might have covered the entire syllabus of civil engineering, isn't it? Yes, sir. Anything that you have left over? Any topic as such? Uh, yes, sir. There were a few topics which I had not covered well, like railway engineering. And... Uh, also a few topics of irrigation engineering, but mm. I had uh, gone through, I had an overview of those subjects, but I, I did not have a detailed knowledge about uh, those topics. So for a few subjects, you have taken a selective approach. Uh, yes, sir. Because uh, those subjects are lengthy and uh, less, uh, they are they less, less weightage in the gate civilian yes. paper. Yes, sir. So in those cases, you have taken selective approach. Yes, right. Uh, and one more thing, uh, Saurabh, because uh, I think you are the right person to answer this question. Uh, per day, on an average, how many hours you used to study? Uh, sir, for a day, I used to do self-study for five to six hours on a day. But it varied according to the stage of preparation I am in. Like in the initial days, I did less study. Then as days progress, I did more and more. Okay. So suppose you are making a self-study of, let us say, five to six hours of time. Uh, did you spend all the five to six hours of time on the only one subject or did you cover one after the other two, three subjects as such? What uh, was your, your, your approach? On most of the days, I tried to cover uh, two subjects on a single day because I believe uh, if we do a single subject one day, it leads to a uh, fatigue and uh, less efficiency in the later parts of the hour. So I did two subjects uh, in a single day. Sometimes uh, it was one, sometimes it was three, but on average it was two subjects. Yeah, that is uh, true. See, the entire uh, syllabus of our civil engineering, 
So by which month you could uh, complete the entire syllabus? So by uh, October and uh, by November starting, I had completed the entire syllabus, and after that, I did only revision. So by the end of October or first week of November, you would uh, you could complete the entire syllabus. So then afterwards, so you focus more on the revision part as well as the test series, I believe. Test series and revision, yes, sir. Test That's series and uh, revision. Part where I focus in the last. Okay, uh, and one more, sir. Uh, uh, what are your uh, what you call suggestions and the tips to the future aspirants of the gate examination so i would like to uh, uh, advise everyone to focus on your theory because if we have a strong theoretical base then we are already good at problem solving after having a good theoretical base go for the tougher problems because some students uh, they get afraid of the tougher and tricky problems and they do not practice it but those are those problems which give us a detailed insight into the questions uh, into the subject so uh, yes please go for tougher and even conventional problems for uh, gate right any other session that you want to add uh, apart from this uh, apart from this uh, self discipline and honesty uh, to oneself uh, is the key factor which i would like to uh, advise everyone to uh, keep right uh, very good uh, saurav and uh, lastly uh, so you got the uh, third rank in civil engineering and first rank in environmental science i think with this uh, uh, which one finally you are, you are going to utilize i uh, think whatever you get uh, with the environmental science you can get with the civil engineering th third rank also yes, so which uh, one you are going to use finally uh, so i might uh, most likely i will be using the civil engineering right? obviously because it is civil third rank definitely you can get whatever you can get uh, with the environmental science first rank okay one more thing uh, so with this gate rank are you going to join mtech otherwise any psc job you are thinking of so as of now uh, if i get a psu where uh, the work profile will suit as per my interest then i would join psu uh, definitely i have an interest towards research but uh, for the short uh, for the immediate future i would not be joining research but i might uh, return to research field uh, at a later period of time right very good uh, saurabh thank you so much for sharing Uh, some of your uh, uh, what you call preparation strategies or tips with us i think uh, this video will help a lot uh, many what you call uh, get aspirants in their preparation style and all definitely thank right you. definitely thank you so much. and uh, uh, i take this opportunity once again uh, to congratulate you on securing this so wonderful ranks in the environmental science paper as well as this civiling paper Thank wish you, you so much. wish you good luck in all your future endeavors god bless you my dear saurabh singh god bless you